natural physics. Physics is the oldest of sciences. Even older than astronomy and mathematics, physics has been with us since the dawn of humankind. Before our primeval ancestors began to gaze in wonderment up at the stars in the night sky, they were busy looking around at their surroundings to survive. Before they began to squint up at the blazing sun in amazement, they sought to possess its life-giving warmth through fire. Physics is older than biology and chemistry. Before our primeval ancestors wanted to know what the animals, the plants, the air, the water are made out of, they wanted to know their own physical capabilities. Before they learned to count each other, they learned the laws of nature. But these are not the survival of the fittest jungle laws, no. These laws our primeval ancestors learned instinctively by observing the world around them. These laws would aid them in being successful on the hunt instead of becoming the hunter. These are the laws of physics. Eventually, yes, they made their way into our textbooks and upon our blackboards, but they did not originate from either. They came from our primeval ancestors observing the world around them in order to survive. These are the laws that come from observing nature. These are the laws of natural physics. Imagine it's 37,000 years ago. A Cro-Magnon or Neanderthal is out in the middle of a savanna. 400 yards distant looms a saber-toothed tiger. 50 yards in the other direction stands a tree. As our primeval ancestor instinctively compares the distance between himself, the saber-toothed tiger, and the tree, and the time that he thinks it'll take for that tiger to get to him, as opposed to him getting to that tree, he's doing a rate comparison of distance with respect to time. Velocity. He's doing physics, but not physics from a textbook or off of a blackboard. He's doing physics by observing the world around him in order to survive. He's doing natural physics. What made the Hulk the Hulk? Gamma rays. Gamma rays are the most powerful form of energy known to exist in nature. More powerful than microwaves and x-rays, gamma rays come from cosmic rays. Cosmic rays were first discovered in the 1920s and no one knows where cosmic rays come from. Gamma rays are very highly energetic photons and are at the extreme end the electromagnetic spectrum. The visible range in which we see is a small part of this spectrum. Just as a group of six runners will break apart when running from the beach into the ocean, a beam of light separates into the six primary colors of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet because these colors travel at different velocities when going from one medium into another. Cosmic rays are high energy protons, ions, and electrons that astrophysicists believe are produced when a star explodes into a supernova. As the shock wave from the explosion expands out into space, it encounters protons, ions, and electrons. Its magnetic field pushes them up to very high speeds, and they gain energy by repeatedly crossing the shock. The process, called diffusive shock acceleration, or DSA, is thought to be facilitated by scattering off magnetic turbulences downstream and irregularities upstream. Ancient physics keys to modern astrophysics locks. Many of today's unsolved mysteries in astrophysics were previously encountered during ancient times. In some cases, solutions were even known then that could be of help now to today's astrophysicists. 
astrophysicists have long suspected that a planet once orbited around the Sun, where the asteroid belt is, between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. But when all the masses of the largest asteroids, such as Itakawa, Ida, Dactyl, Gaspra, and Eidos, along with the other asteroids, are added up, the sum is not enough to make up a planet, only perhaps a large moon. If the asteroids are the result of a planet breaking up and the pieces continuing to orbit around the sun, making up the asteroid belt, then where is the missing mass? The answer was provided 6,000 years ago by the Sumerians who lived in the region of Mesopotamia and are considered by archaeologists to be the first civilization. They predated and influenced other ancient cultures such as the Egyptians and Babylonians. Natural physics encompasses current futuristic and ancient physics with common threads running through each. Our primeval ancestor instinctively calculated the velocity of the saber-toothed tiger on an everyday scale of meters per second. The Fermi Observatory uses advanced computers to calculate the velocity of cosmic rays on a relativistic scale of thousands of kilometers per second and the ancient Sumerians calculated the velocity of the burrow on a planetary scale of tens of kilometers per second. Whether here in the present, in the far future, or the distant past, natural physics surrounds us, as does our amazing world of nature.